Hello everybody, Dirk the Engineer here. I uh, just finished up uh, testing um, the pogo pin uh, limit stop and homing switch. I gotta say it works really, really well. Um, uh, though one thing that you're gonna want to do um, to make this thing survivable in a crash situation um, is make sure that the uh, tip um, is kind of behind this um, nut a little bit so that when it crashes in all the way it's hitting the nut and not the limit stop on the uh, the pin. Um, I think that's gonna only be true on the y-axis because the y-axis only has this one little bumper here um, to stop it and uh, I think the other thing that you might consider doing is loosening up the tension on this so that uh, if it does hit the stop that the gear doesn't keep driving it. I found also that I had to turn my kernel speed up kind of high um, so that it would react faster and stop it. Um, it will stop uh, with travel left in the pin at speeds less than 90% and I have my maximum speed set to a thousand inches per minute so uh, it does pretty good with that so um, anyway uh, it is very accurate and repeatable um, I still have to do a, uh, a repeatability test but just by looking at the very slight sliver that um, that uh, appears when it moves off the the uh, gantry that's less than a thousandth of an inch with my feeler gauges so um, I think this thing is gonna work well so without that without further ado I'll just do a a homing test so go ref all home reference Y hit OK and here we go so it just comes on there and just comes right back off and there is looks like there is a gap there but the tip of that pogo pin is rounded so a little bit of dark space there is not not so bad but um, it does very very well and I, as I said I've tested this by crashing it into the uh, switch and it survives okay um, I don't know what the uh, repeatability is after a crash um, but you wouldn't I mean even in the crash situation here, this moves too. So I don't, I don't know exactly uh, what the uh, survivability and repeatability of that system is either. But this does very well, so I'm, I'm pleased. Tomorrow I'll make the rest of the brackets for the system and uh, get it all set up, and then I can tear these down and uh, send them back. So uh, anyway, uh, I'm happy. I'm happy with it. So. Uh, if any of you have any questions or would like to build this, uh, uh, feel free to contact me. Um, I'm at DirkTheEng at gmail.com, or you can contact me on my YouTube channel. Either way, I'll try and get back to you. Um, I think the entire limit home switch system on this router would be less than $25. So, uh, Thanks, and I'll talk to you soon.